Hey, good morning to you. Mark Suttoth, HurricaneTrack.com. I'm up here in the corner. See, I am at the hotel here in Tallahassee, Florida after a nice uneventful trip down I-95 and then eventually to Cedar Key via Gainesville, 24 West out of there to Cedar Key where I set up one of our new camera systems that we will be testing. And uh, so far, so good. Everything's working well. I'm a little tired, but I uh, wanted to give you a little update here on what is going on in the tropics. All right, so let's get rid of me, if it'll let me. Let's see if it'll work. You know, it's not going to let me go away, so that's fine. I'll stay right here. Hi, how are you? All right, so don't pay attention to me anymore. Let's look at this. The latest visible, sorry, it's late. The latest infrared, this is from weathernerds.org. The National Hurricane Center GOES 16 products stuck yesterday, all of them even at the GOES site itself, so weather nerds to the rescue. Um, so this is what the infrared looks like, and you can see that finally, in terms of the structure of the system, we're starting to see a more condensed area of convection, and the center of circulation pretty evident right through here somewhere, and then you have these bands that are coming in uh, to the Florida Straits across extreme southeast Florida, and it still has that overall comma shape, yes, and I've talked about that, but it is trying to become more tropical up here with more of a concentrated core, not really a well-developed inner core or anything like that, but this is the most towards tropical that this system has been all along. Now, the water temperatures in this part of the Gulf of Mexico are not very warm compared to where they're going to be in, say, September. They were only probably 77, 78, 79 degrees Fahrenheit, so there is not a lot of upper ocean heat content for this to take advantage of, and as such, I don't think it's going to do a lot more strengthening overall, so wind-wise and surge impacts probably on the low end overall. Some areas, you're going to have a couple of moderates from here to there, who knows exactly where. That's the problem. We can't pinpoint that, and by that I mean... Moderate damage, maybe some pier damage, boats broken from their moorings, something like that. We also have to be careful and mindful. Not much you can do unless you know you can take cover. And the being careful part of tornadoes, that these bands that we see could produce some tornadoes. Of course, the flooding rain we've talked about ad nauseum. Everybody's probably sick of hearing about how much rain this is going to dump or potentially dump. But the severe weather threat could be a problem. So let's get rid of this animation. And I want to show you the National Weather Service radar mosaic out of the southeast United States. And you can see off the coast of the west coast of Florida here, more concentrated area of showers and thunderstorms, south Florida getting drenched, and then very, very heavy rainfall across the Florida Straits. Any mariners out there, I hope there aren't any. Uh, that is very rough down there. And this is all going to be pushing north over the next day or so. Now, wait until you see the models here, okay? This is the overnight model package. This is from Levi Cowan's website, Tropical Tidbits. This is the GFS. This is the initial map, roughly. And here is Alberto down here. And watch what happens as I go through these frames with, let's get rid of the, the telestration. There we go. I forgot my mouse. So I'm you know, using the little touchpad thing. All right, so we move through the frames here. Hopefully this will work. Come on. And watch what happens here. Pretty close to the west coast of Florida, pressure down to the 997 or so, and then real close to Apalachicola at about 994 millibars, and then kind of bends around that, and then makes landfall somewhere near Destin, maybe, between Pensacola and Panama City Beach with the center of circulation. That's the low-level center of circulation. And then you see a lot of rainfall across the southeast up into North Carolina even. Um, just a tremendous amount of rainfall on a day here. This is Monday, Memorial Day. Some people are going to be traveling, trying to get home perhaps. And then, of course, from there, this goes on into the southeast. And this is where the severe weather threat could be a big problem as this moves inland. Maybe some flooding in the Appalachians. You need to be mindful of that. This becomes an inland flood problem in the southern Appalachians here, extending down even into the hill country, the foothills of northwest Georgia, northern Alabama, eastern Tennessee, western North Carolina. 
please be mindful of that, okay? Your local National Weather Service, your local TV, radio, internet personalities who know their stuff, <clears throat> pay attention to them, please. Now, you ready for the Euro? Uh, this is all pretty interesting. It's shifting more and more east with time. We're almost out of time with this. It's going to be on shore probably Monday morning now. So this is the initial map, the European, and just to kind of show you down here, the ECMWF. There's where we're starting. And watch where this ends up over time. All right, let's move this forward. That's a pretty big jump, and these are 24-hour increments, too. Right up into the Big Bend area of Florida, and guess who put a camera right there in Cedar Key? This guy. I did that just a few hours ago, and <laughs> maybe it has the shot. I don't mean to laugh. I, trust me, I know how it is. I'm, you know, we didn't know where this was headed. It might be, or it could be Louisiana or Mississippi. We thought a couple of days ago, and the Europeans showing about a 997 millibar, you know, moderate tropical storm, and that southern flow right into Cedar Key. That camera there may capture it. We'll see. It'll uh, be featured on the Weather Channel. And I'll take some clips and post them on social media as well. So we'll see. So that's what it looks like there. Let's clear the telestration. And then watch what happens from here. So this is tomorrow night. This is 24 hours from now. And then it kind of goes inland from there. These are 24-hour increments, like I said. Uh, big flood and severe weather risk for the southeast. And luckily, it looks like this is going to kind of move on out of the pattern fairly quickly by most of the global models, and that's good. We need it to clear out. But you folks down here, just to reiterate one more time, southeast United States, the Carolinas included, and then eventually the southern Appalachians here, be real careful with this system in terms of just staying on top of it. What's the latest? What's the local uh, National Weather Service office saying? If you want to know exactly what to glean from this, go to weather.gov. I talk about this every year. Weather.gov. Put in your zip code, and there is a ton of incredible information there, usually in a red or even bold highlighted color. Hurricane local statement, hazardous weather outlook, things of that nature. Read that, and that tells you what to expect for your area. All right, well, I'm going to get some sleep. It is 3.07 in the morning Eastern. Um, I think maybe six, seven hours of sleep would be good, and then I can hit it again tomorrow, head down towards the Big Bend area, Put out some more of these cameras, do some reporting. I'll be posting on Twitter as often as I can. I'll also be streaming live, as long as there's bandwidth for it, on our YouTube channel, which some of you are watching this. I guess most of you are. Maybe all of you are. Uh, and we'll see what we have, all right? Not a huge deal, but hey, it's something to remind us hurricane season is upon us. It's almost here, and we have to deal with it. Thanks for dealing with me and being tired and travel-weary. But I wanted to produce a video before I hit the sack, which is behind me. Have a good evening, the rest of it anyway, and as good of a Sunday as you can if you're in the affected area. I am Mark Suddeth, HurricaneTrack.com. Thanks for watching. I'll be back with more for you throughout the day tomorrow.